art and technology, historical contexts, and our reality today. This video is a short edit from a longer video that I did talking about many different aspects of arts and technology. If you want to watch the full video, link here in the description of this video. Reality is, uh, through, throughout history, uh, through history, the, the technology in a way dictated or shaped the path of the arts. Yes! So if you think about the instruments, the creation of musical instruments, allow artists to learn and to be proficient in these instruments, allow composers to write for those instruments. Uh, the evolution of the musical instruments also created uh, new ways of doing music, for example. Uh, the creation of the electric guitar, for example. It changed the, land, the, the musical landscape. You see, like all the rock and roll movement, it was because of the, the creation of electric instruments, as an example. Uh, and even if you, we go back to classical music, uh, the, the music that we know and the music that we do now, and we think about all the symphonies and all the like, large format music, which is very complex, only exists because of the creation of musical notation, right? So uh, the, the evolution of the tools, in a way, shape the direction of art. Uh, and if we think about today, I, I feel that uh, this technology and all their kinds of technology, the technology we, do, we are doing now, like be able to do this, to live stream, to have like social media and to have all the internet, this is also shaping the way people produce and what people produce. Because it's, it's a very complex equation if we think about it. Uh, so, for example, we, we think about the resources, the technical uh, things we have, like equipment, like the cameras, like the cables, like the, this, like the internet. Uh, we have to think also about the ways of diffusion, the way, uh, the way of uh, how people can have access to things. That now people have access, like in Japan, or in Brazil, like people may be watching this, I don't know where. So we have all these new possibilities, and this also changed like the whole market, the whole situation, the environment where art, art happens, the way people collaborate. Think about the quarantine, the number of people doing this kind of on online collaborations. I myself did like a very ambitious one, which is the, was My Danças da Quarentena, which is available on YouTube. Uh, and I did like a full diary telling like the story. So this, all these projects, they only happened the way they happened, and maybe they only happened because of the technology we have available and the situation we live in. And all this has a big impact in the shape and the direction of the arts. And this is the, 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 the thought that I want to bring to you guys here, for us to think about it and to think how, where are we in terms of our production? How does this, this production of art also relates to uh, the market and also relates to uh, being a financial, financially viable, uh, like doable, sustainable, and how can we make it move forward in a healthy way, in a way that works uh, for the artists and we're going to have a positive outcome, a, a, a change in direction of the art that is positive because this technology, as we talked before, is influencing, is influencing and is going to influence much more to the future, the way and what uh, we produce. As I mentioned before, this video is part of a longer video discussing many elements of art and technology. Link here in the description of this video. The idea is also to start a conversation. So you have any comment, any idea, please leave in the comments. I would love to read uh, your ideas, be in contact and get this conversation going. See you in the next video.